It looks like an ordinary industrial park on the edge of Mississauga, but this is actually a brand new farm. Naturally, Randy and I wanted to come and have a look to see what's happening here at Aqua Greens. Let's take a look. In a couple of months after the first harvest, these vegetables will be sold in markets and restaurants and stores across Toronto. The idea is that you're buying top quality, organically grown produce that is only shipped a couple of kilometers to reach your home. This is a big change from the thousand mile salad that we've heard so much. So what's the connection between the fish and the leafy greens? So the fish, you feed the fish organic food, yeah. out of their waste you pull out ammonia, get rid of the effluent, and the ammonia goes through a natural bacterial cycle which turns into food for the plants. The plants pull it out, the nutrients out of the water, cleans and filters water, plants grow, and the water returns back to the fish in a closed loop ecosystem as he said and we don't have the same amounts of water use in traditional agriculture we use about 98 percent less water than traditional agriculture it's interesting too that the proprietors originally hoped to open their operation in downtown toronto they wanted to be as close to the market as they could when they went to City Hall to get permission, of course, it was denied. Agriculture is not allowed in city limits. This is not like any agricultural operation I've ever seen before, even though these kinds of farms, so-called, are taking off around the world. Still, is an idea whose time has come, an idea that Toronto will have to adopt at some point in the future. For the Star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.